What's going on to all of my Taurus out there? Let's get into it. Stay tuned. I have a lot more coming on the way for y'all. So you have the Page of Cups, the Hierophant, Ten of Wands, Two of Wands, Page of Wands. Okay, a lot of wand cards. I don't know. Five of Wands, the uh, Tower, the Ten of Pentacles, the Fool, and the Six of Swords. So the Hierophant does represent Taurus. The represent Taurus or Sagittarius, obviously, in this case, because I'm reading for y'all, it represents Taurus, more than likely. But let's get into it. The Page of Cups, the Hierophant, and the Ten of Wands. Um, there may be a situation that some of you Taurus may need to kind of uh, kind of get a better understanding of. Maybe you met somebody trying to get to know. You don't necessarily see every, I ain't going to say every element because you don't have to, but you may not necessarily know enough about them. The Hierophant is that you should probably do yourself a favor by understanding that that you don't know everything about them. You don't know a whole lot about them. So you should, if you're going to entertain them, if you're going to get to know them, you should probably ask them questions. You know what I mean? Um, so the Ten of Wands represents because you won't know them yeah, unless you actually ask them questions. You know what I mean? And uh, Taurus does represent the zodiac sign of, of silence, but you need to start utilizing your silence wisely, more wisely. You need to start using your words as a means of getting what you want, right? Finding out what you want. You need to start actually learning the importance of words. Um, learn to ask more questions. You know what I mean? One of the worst things that, I, see, a lot of times, too, let's, let's address this, right? Um, one of the things that makes the dating pool so difficult to navigate through and find somebody is the fact that a lot of people are not really, they're not active enough. You know, they're not active enough. And what I mean by that is how many times have you, Taurus, met somebody that like you, but they do not ask questions? So... You got to come up with all of the, you got to come up with all of the, the, the topics of discussion. They don't have anything for real to talk about. You understand what I'm saying? Um, they don't ask you questions, you know, and it's like for you, Taurus, it's like, why am I even talking to this person? <laughs> you know what I mean? Why am I even talking to this person? Because this person literally doesn't even know me. They don't even ask questions. I got a question. Do they even really care at all? Or is it just, just because they like what it is that they think that they're looking at? And this is, this is, what, this is why the Ten of Wands is here. The Ten of Wands is, it, it represents how this, this, you know, this person likes you, but at the same time, it may, meet, it may be that uphill, up and down battle where this is part of why the dating pool is trash for, for, for everybody, basically, until they can find that person for them. It's because a lot of people, and I've said this before, a lot of people are really dating who are not really equipped to really be dating. And they really shouldn't be. <laughs> so the thing is that the two of wands is... The two of wands and the page of wands represents when you meet people like this, that's that's not good either. You know, look, I'm going to have to make a video talking about what kind of the general understanding of is, but you should really want to kind of date someone who
has their own understanding of who they are, but at the same time, actually finds out about you, asks you questions, does some sort of investigation into your life, right? Of course, if you'll allow them to investigate into your life by ask, by allowing them to ask you questions and, you know, some of them may even do a background check, but as long as they're coming at, they're coming at it to you, or I should say with you or to you with a direct directly investigating, wanting to know, right? Asking questions. That's a good sign, right? That's one of the things that's a good sign because they actually are taking it seriously. But a lot of times you, you know, and I'm sure you tourists know this, how many of you tourists have been just kind of not really into somebody because they weren't asking questions? They weren't going after you. They weren't really, they didn't really have anything to really talk about. It was just like, oh, or, or maybe they were hyped up. Maybe they were amped up, but they weren't hyped up or amped up or super into you where, you know, it's something that they, they wanted to do and they were hyped up and they had to be the alpha of the situation and the loudest in the room, right? They don't come at you like that though. You know, and you should want that. I'm not saying that the person has to be that sparked up. That's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is this this person should be a little bit more active or proactive when it comes to getting to know you, right? There's been many a times I, I call somebody and I'm like, hey, what's going on with you? What's, what's up? You know, I just wanted to call you or whatnot or text you. I just wanted to call you or text you as to what's going on. And I just wanted to know how you were doing. Yeah, I, I want to know why you wanted to call and why you wanted to text. I just told you because I wanted to know if you were all right and you just kind of, you just kind of ruined it right then and there. Oh, you know, you know, I'm, I'm talking to the person. Hey, what's going on? They don't have anything to talk about. Texting the person, what's going on? They don't have anything to, to text about. And I'm just like, okay. I'm just like, okay. If that's the case, I'm going to stop talking to you. Then they get mad at me. <sighs> Some of these people are out here. They, they really shouldn't really be dating. They should really just... <laughs> on the real, though. Because... The five of wands in the tower represents so so what's next for you, Taurus, right? What what does all that stuff mean? What I was just talking about. What I, what I mean by that is you have the five of wands in a tower, right? These are red flags. The five of wands, these the tower, these are red flags for you to get out. These are indications that it's time for you to get out. Look, you look, everyone should want a partner that's into them has their own life healthy physically, healthy mentally, has their own internal value, which is spiritual or, uh, spiritual or spirituality, okay, or spiritual value, all right? Um, their own decency, which is spiritual value, okay, can financially take care of themselves, okay? Um, People who know how to interact with other people and there's a layer of respect without worship, okay? If they don't have some of those attributes or that I just named, and that's not all, but if they don't have at least a few of those attributes, it's a waste of time because I'll tell you what it means too. Don't worry, the video that I promised y'all is coming. It's coming up after this one, talking about what I mean. But also about what it is I was talking about when I say that a lot of people are not operating with a full deck of cards out here. That video is coming up after these four videos. After this batch, that video is coming up after that. But if, if people don't have those types of uh, attributes, they're not worth anyone's time. They're really just playing because they're not playing. It's just that 
they are too delusional to understand that it's not that they're playing a game because they're not playing anything. They're not playing. This is really their way. They're terrible, you know, just just low grade level of being able to communicate. And the communication is trash. So it's, so it's time for you to get out. And then the thing is that the Ten of Pentacles represents, you have to understand that you are the most valuable person that they have met potentially in a long time because this is their dating life, Taurus. They may not be interested in Okay, they're interested, but they may, but but their lifestyle, their their dysfunction, they may be caught up in the the repetition of dysfunction. And you got to understand, you have to understand where this comes from. So if that's the case, it it shows that a lot of you tourists may be wasting your time, you know, with people like this. And when you interact with people like this in the future, right? You got t Tower, Scorpio. Exact opposite sign of Scorpio, uh, exact opposite sign of Scorpio is Taurus, right? So when you engage with these types of interactions, when you have these types of interactions, it's time for you to leave. It's time for you to bounce. It's time for you to understand that what you've got going on or the fact that you have healed a certain amount, you shouldn't even worry about that type of stuff, right? The fool and the, the six of swords represent how this is a situation where, um, you know, oh, another thing, another attribute too is knowing which rules to break and when, right? Um, a person wants to text, uh, you know, if a person wants to text, call them, you know, every now and again. I'm not saying every last time. If a person wants to, to, to call, text them every now and again. You understand what I'm saying? Like, change and mix it up. And that's what I'm trying to say, like making it interesting, even from that, doing it one way, that's cool. You know what I mean? But it can get kind of stale. And these are little instances that I'm talking about that everybody should want. They don't have to, but some of the things that people should want, at least to a widespread you know, group of people that should want, because these are what make a good relationship. The, but again, a lot of people don't have that. A lot of people, you again, you could tell the dating pool is trash because a lot of people are operating, but they're not really, they're not really, the, the lights are on, but there's no one home. So they are trying to play it off like they have some sort of control to keep you really distracted, even though they like you but to keep you distracted from a bigger problem. And the bigger problem, my dear Taurus, is these people are not really working with a full deck of cards. They have things that are wrong with them. They have issues, you understand? Like there's no, and, I, and I'm saying this to prove a point, there's no, it's, it's no coincidence that every time, you know, and I've been across states, tried to date too, you know, happen to go someplace, you for like a day or a couple of hours or whatnot, right? Across states, right? Different states. Got to, you know, got to speak to different, uh, you know, people. And me and the person ended up exchanging numbers back when I used to take their number instead of them, instead of me just giving them my number. And then I come to find out that they're, you know, dysfunctional. Then I find out that financially they're they're fiscally irresponsible with money and <laughs> you know what i'm saying like like they're not like these types of people are not people who really handling their business like that none of them are and there's never an exception to that pay attention there there is a relationship with people who think that they have so much control and dysfunctionality it's because it's one and the same it's only the illusion that they have to give to you that they have so much value and you can't hang with them. No, you can't hang with them because you're responsible and they're not. So you're right. You can't hang out with these people. These people are out of people are too far gone, yo. So the 
So the fool and the the fool and the six of swords represent here that again understanding these responsible people, understanding these people who know how to have fun, but they're not dysfunctional. They're not like out there. They're not all over the place. So you know they're not all just lost in the sauce and lost. Those are the people that you should be looking for. But but again, Taurus, you shouldn't even be caring about and you don't because you have the fool which is good <laughs> means that you're learning right you're starting to understand value and then you have the six of swords so the six of swords is understanding that it's okay if you don't find that person immediately just keep looking keep looking you know keep looking you're starting to get out of the situation in time thankfully you know you don't want to spend too long in a relationship with somebody that's full of BS and the BS amps up over amount of time. Trust me, <laughs> I would know. <laughs> so let's clarify the fool. A lot of people out here are not really working with a full deck of cards, yo, a lot. And then they try to couch it in control and it's like, the more control you stunt like you have, the less control I know you actually do. So uh, you have the Hermit, you have the Seven of Pentacles, you have the Page of Cups, you have the King of Cups. So the Hermit, rep the, hermit the uh Seven of Pentacles represents, again, these are people who are working with their own issues. And that they're not working with a full deck of cards. They, they don't have inner peace like that. And it's driving them up a wall. You understand? You know, the page of cups, they're caught up in their own thing. But when you stand next to them like that, Taurus, they're going to act like this. So, so let's recap this reading. To recap the reading is you still have options to, of people to meet, but you haven't met anyone yet. That really has those type of attributes that I was talking about. It's a lot of people who, who are too gone and they essentially don't know how to interact with people in a healthy manner. It's up to you, Taurus, to walk away and to not care. Just keep dating or take a break, right? If you take a break, depending on how experienced you are, you can get you can take a day or two days and get right back out there, depending on how experienced you are or lack thereof, if you're not very experienced, you may need to take an entire month. I say a month because it takes seven days to break a habit, three weeks to, to create a new one, a month. You want to break that habit of th this dysfunctional person, right? But at the same time, you also want to take time to stop thinking about what they meant when they did this and they did that. They're, they're gone. <laughs> you know, they're gone. So the thing is that the King of Cups is, is that no matter what they do, you make, you make sure that you stay the course of emotional stability and mental clarity. So um, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video. I'm trying to get this YouTube channel to 3,500 subscribers by the end of January. As of right now, I have 3,254 subscribers. Please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, and set the notification bell to all by clicking it so you can be notified whenever I drop these videos. Peace.